How's the gaming? I'm Phil the Blanks, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. Last episode, we went to the Marsh Cave, and a mysterious man helped us get the mirror, and now we're on our way back to Ket's place to show the doorman the mirror so we can save Kate. It sounds more complicated than it actually is, but whatever. We also have a new uh, spell, the Fire Spell, which costs 1 MP and homes in on our targets, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Boo! not bad and we, we took some uh, levels in in our uh, magic ability so in wisdom I think it's called so that's pretty cool I'm actually gonna show you a trick here as well first things first though we are gonna save right here on this screen we're gonna take out the weeds right here go where they were head to the right and now we're stuck in the weeds go upwards and attack the weeds and press left at the same time and we will warp to a much much further part of the game. We'll go to our map. We're way on the north end there. And this is like, oh geez, uh, like more than halfway done the game, pretty much. Uh, <clears throat> now, obviously, you are insanely weak at this point, and you are actually stuck here because you don't have the ability to move around that you kind of want to. But <clears throat> with a spell that you'll get a little bit later, Blizzard, you'll be able to actually warp again and go right to the end of the game. I'm not going to show that because, like, I don't really do these kind of warps. I'm just going to die on purpose. Pop, one hit, dead. Uh, so let's go back to right before we died and continue the game normally. All right. Let's actually continue this time. But yeah, it's a fun little thing if you really wanted to speed run the game. That's kind of how you do it. But that's not what we're doing. We want to play the whole game. So let's go on up here. We're going to take a quick rest. Ignore this guy. And actually, let's equip the mirror as well. We're probably going to need to equip it. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Get my, uh, <laughs> get my equipment menu. Alright, stay base. That, get that MP back up to 12. Now that we're actually going to start using magic a little bit more, we want that MP. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Nice suit and tie. Welcome to Cats. Rooms ahead are occupied. I know, I know. Please feel free to use the western room. I know. <laughs> that, that mirror! Urgh, God bless. Oh no, he's a werewolf. Ah, he ran into me too. Let's get our magic on. I like to use my fire magic. Burning things to the ground. Dead. Ooh, didn't kill him. We're pretty strong. There we go. Wow. And then... We have our next dungeon. Yeah, pretty crazy. We just finished our first actual dungeon. We have another one right off the bat. Pretty crazy. Ooh, we have these blobbies. The blobbies can be taken out with the fire spell, so feel free to use it. Maybe don't go too crazy with your fire spell, because, I mean, you don't want to use all your MP up. But, hey, I mean, that's what uh, level ups are for, so. A lot of enemies here can... Ooh, you can't be destroyed. <laughs> oh, good, okay. Uh... A lot of a lot of enemies in this area can uh, poison you, so be really careful. I'm just gonna go ahead. Actually, what do these give me? These might give me something good, like ethers, for example. Always good. Ooh, jam. I hate when they when you hit them and they get launched back into you. It's ridiculous. But we have, we have well, we actually don't have a lot of cures at all. But we have an ether. Let's use some candy. Candy doesn't do a whole lot, does it? Jeez. Yeah, two ethers. Better than nothing. But you can equip more than one thing at a time. I think that's the big thing. I mean, it's the Game Boy. It only has so many, uh, <laughs> so many buttons, but it's a little frustrating. Anyways, this is not a very large dungeon. About as big as the dungeon we just did. We just found a pillow item. The pillow item... Oh, and a crystal as well. Jeez. Getting random stuff. The pillow item casts sleep on everything. So if you're in a room with a lot of enemies like we were kind of earlier, that's a really good, a good one to use, so... Take you The cute little mouse. We could go to the left. There is nothing there. Instead... Oh, you know that sound. Thanks to the mysterious man being ever so helpful. He's a very nice guy. I'm just going to use a, mat a matic crit here. There we go. Continue on. Uh, let's use our pillow item. Why not? Let's see what it's like. I don't know if it'll work. It does not work against the zombies. That sucks. <laughs> That's funny, though. But yeah, let's take out these zombies. Why not? Don't use one spell at a time. Oh, there. There we go. We got all our magic back. Ooh, where's my d4? There we go. Roll that. One! Stamina! Barely ever getting that power up. But stamina's good. Stamina's HP and defense. So it is never a waste to get a level in that. So hooray for that. Careful the hoot hoots. They're pretty easy, thankfully. 
I don't know if you need any keys in this dungeon. You probably do, but you should always have some keys on you regardless. So, oh, careful. You cannot move when you're attacking, which obviously makes sense. Good, there we go. Come here, you. Come here. Don't be afraid to use uh, ethers and, like, your items and stuff. You do not have a lot of space in your inventory, so it is wise to just kind of use up what you can, man, to make up some room for more. It's just, it's just a smart idea, so do not be afraid to do so. Especially right now when you're by yourself, I don't have Kate with me to increase my, or to, to get my HP back, so. Oh, 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 ooh. Lots of enemies in this one. There we go. Took out them out right away. Ah, don't follow me, you damn weird blob thing. Ooh, what we got? Another Matic. Well, I mean, that's good. It means I don't have to buy one later. So that's not a bad thing. And, actually, I think I need a Matic right here, don't I? Break these pots, there we go. Boom, ooh, we got two stairs. Which way should we go, actually, now that I think about it? I think we'll take the secret way. We'll get this damn thing out of the way, there we go. Careful, do not hit the spikes, they will hurt you. They are damage floors, there's a lot of damage floors in this game, so you wanna be really careful. Let's get some more magic on. Love my fire magic. Burning bubbles, <laughs> for some reason. There you go. I know there's one left. I see you. There you are. Bam. I love how there's just an owl and a pumpkin. And like slimes and werewolves and it's like, a, what a melange of enemies. I love it. Oh, locked. Okay, there we go. Good thing we got those keys. Always use the keys that have the least amount of uses left. Don't want to, you know, waste that. Waste uh, space in your inventory. Got the chain whip. Awesome. Our next weapon already. The chain whip is stronger, so that's pretty cool. The range is amazing, and it's like a hook shot, like in Zelda. Pretty nifty. So we're gonna use that one a lot. This is one of those that, that we keep uh, around for a long, long time. Let's head back. Good thing we went through that secret uh, staircase. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Get away from me, guys. Uh, yeah, might as well get our magic back on. Definitely want that experience. Though we're actually um somewhat near a good leveling spot, so pretty much uh maybe not directly after this dungeon, but not too too far after this dungeon. Okay, so let's head up these stairs instead this time. Oh, we're outside. Very very cool. And there we go. We wouldn't have been able to get this far uh, past this place without the uh, the chain whip. So good thing we got it. Good thing we found it. Oh, damn. Careful, the pumpkins. Eh, eh, eh. Really? <laughs> I thought you would have died before you got to me. Oh, well. Ah, oh, crap, zombies. Uh. And might as well use one of those ethers. We ended up getting two anyways. What does the crystal do? I actually don't know. Eh, we have a boss coming up. I'll use it then. Just to see what it does, I guess. Probably, like... I know there's a will crystal, which will fill up your will right away. Oops. So the crystal might just, like, make you stronger for a little bit. Which, you know, not a bad thing to use for a... For a boss. Alright. Roll that D4. Three! Wisdom! Good. Now that we're starting to use a little bit more spells, it's definitely not a bad thing. Oh, also, so you know the will bar, how uh, it grows and you get a little bit stronger if, if it's really uh, filled up? Oh, I fell. That's not good. Oh, shit. Where did I fall? Well, dang. That's okay. I think if we actually just head upwards, we're fine. Ugh, crap, crap. Not paying attention. Yeah, so, okay. So, the the will um, bar works for your magic as well, basically what I was going to say. Uh, but if it's filled up completely... Oh my gosh, there's so many. Then uh, your magic will actually... That next magical spell will be four times stronger, which is really neat. So, that's pretty, pretty cool. Get out. You out. Take you out. There we go. Head up here. And do I have to use a good little word with key? Now we're just on the other side that we were. Anyway, so that did not uh that wasn't too bad. Another pillow, so that's good. That type of stuff you can just sell as well. You don't really need that, so. 
Damn you. Damn you. Come on. Let me go. And do I want to go up? Right, I can't clear. <laughs> I always forget that. Um, diplomatic. Whoops. Wasted a spell. That's okay. Oh, damn. This is a Matic, too. That was no fun. What are we getting? An Ether? Well, that's, that's always good. Oh, what is this? Hmm, let's push you. Is that nothing? Oh, there we go. How'd that... Wait. Okay, that's weird how it didn't work the first time. That's okay. I just like taking out all the enemies on the screen. Weird. I'm weird. I know. Is that a nothing? Hmm. Always worried about places like this. There we go. Ha ha! Don't worry. I somewhat know what I'm doing. You don't get a map for the uh, dungeon, which is kind of a shame, because they can get a little big. They're not, like, big, big. It's just, it's easy to get lost if you're not really paying attention to where you're going. Well, we're starting to run out of keys, so remember, make sure to grab some more at the next shop. We got some bunch of castles here. Oh, I picked the right one. Uh, Kate, oh, Phil. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, good idea. So now that she's back, she's our, our curing magic pretty much from now on, so that's really great. Let's ask her to heal up our wounds. Thank you very much. Now we just head on out, I guess. All the way back. Ooh, damn. That's a lot of you. Oof. Ow. Why would why would I pull you like I'm pulling them to me? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like it's not what I'm trying to do. I don't know if there's like a shortcut to like leave the area. I really don't. But if there is, I don't know it, so. Hope I'm just going the right way. We basically just want to get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah. Boss here, and hope we don't fall again like a bunch of sillies. How come she can walk over it? That's not fair. I want to walk over it. Uh, let's magic it up. Take you out. And as well you. Wouldn't mind one more level before the boss. So. Ooh, cure, okay. Fine with that. It's not like it's a very long dungeon. It's pretty much just two floors. We're basically there already. At least we're at least on the first floor, that is. Damn Matic. Oh no, I just leave. <laughs> it's like, do I have to use my Matic again? Come on, one more level. One more level. Just to be a pillow or something. Something I don't really need. There we go. Think I'm going the right way. Really should have a map. <laughs> That's on me though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are. I think we're like right near there. So what is you? Another crystal. Yes, I want to use that right before we uh, fight the boss. So. There we go. And for that we get number four, another will. Damn, I'm really hoping we get too many will level ups. It's, it's like my best stat right now, which is not something I want. But we're pretty much full. Damn, come on, let me go. Stop following me around like that. I ask you, please heal me up. Thank you. Oh, damn. Enemies from, like, the marsh cave here. Weird. We're just about there. I'm not gonna bother taking you out, because I want to make sure I have MP. 
We're about to face a boss. Of course we are. It wouldn't be a dungeon in an action RPG without a random boss right at the end. In fact, it'll be right in the next screen. So I'm actually just gonna wait on my th my will thing to uh, go up. Get my wounds treated. Almost. Thankfully, with all my um, will levels, it's actually fill up much, much faster now. Alright, let's go! That's my victim! Alright, Lee. And of course, he's just a silly looking vampire. I should just go to equip. I don't know what the crystal does. I'm just gonna use it. Don't know what that did. <laughs> we, we just used it anyways, though. And, uh, my will bar is filled. Hope I can hit him. Yes, I did four times damage. That's pretty cool. You have to hit Lee in the head, not the arms or the wings or whatever you want to call it. So it has to be kind of right on. But thankfully, the. Uh, I'm just gonna get her to. I completely, like, just make sure she's always treating your wounds. Um, but yeah, uh, as long as you're just kind of using the whip, the chain whip here, we can hit him pretty easily. We can probably use some uh, fire as well. I don't know if that's actually a really good thing, but. Ooh, my goodness. Now, you know what? Maybe I want my curing on. She's not curing me as fast as I'd like. There we go. There we go. Oh, that was pretty easy. Bam! Defeated vampire. Received the magic book of sleep. Learn slep. <laughs> Are you all right, Kate? Yeah. That's it? That's it, huh? <laughs> Wendell is to the south. Let's hurry. Okay, can we go back and heal up, actually? I hope so. But yeah, we learned this slep spell, because all spells in this game require only to have um, four letters. <laughs> Can't deal with anything more than that. Um, it's okay. It's, it's like a pillow uh, item, but I don't really end up using it very often. But I guess if there's a lot of enemies on screen, it's not the worst thing in the world to use. But let's go! Now that we have the axe and the whip, or the chain flail, whatever you want to call it, uh, we have the ability to basically continue on our little trek. So that's a little fun side quest, I guess. But I mean, hey, dungeons and exploring. That's the fun part. Get our cure, our mat, our sorry, fire back on. Let's move down where the lizards were. They're just having a good old time. Look at them go. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not at all hitting you. Feel free to level up here a little bit more, but we're about to get into a much better leveling spot. Don't know if we'll actually reach it today, but... Oh, okay, careful. Ah, I'm gonna get right in the friggin' mountain. Ooh, there's a lot of you there. Oh, yes, we need the sickle, don't we? Of course we do. There we go. And now, onward to areas we couldn't get to before. Huzzah! Of course, the same enemies around here, though. Yep, and now we need to chain whip again, and we'll get a pure. Okay, well, maybe not the worst thing in the world. Definitely a lot worse things to get. Chain. You'll notice that, like, yeah, we have, um, we now, f was it four? The different types of, uh, of equipment. That's pretty cool. Or, um, uh, weapons, that is. So, neat. I love how they do that. Oh, that did not hold me on you. They did that. <laughs> what a waste. There we go. Yeah, there are two more to get. We won't get them for a while, but they're both very good. The only one that doesn't upgrade is the um, is the sickle. In the Japanese, I think it's Japanese only, but in the um, the mobile port of this game, I'm not hurting. There we go. The mobile port of this game, uh, there is. Ooh, careful, you guys. Uh, an extra version of the sickle called the mantis sickle. Uh, it's not in this version of the game though, so it's the only sickle we'll get. So it doesn't get any stronger. It's pretty much just used to clear out. <laughs> weeds and vines and stuff. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. You, jeez, you take a lot of hits. Probably because I'm so friggin' weak. That's probably it. Candy! Alright, and up here, we finally made it to Wendell. Awesome. Welcome to Wendell, the sacred town. Okay, don't know how it's sacred, but it's cool. Howdy, ten gold a night? Yeah, sure. I've got, I've got a lot of gold right now, actually, so... I'm pretty happy with that. Alright. Oh, hello, Mysterious Man, you're back! 
Oh, it is him. Hello again. How have you been? I've been good, thank you. Hey, uh, Kate, say hello to the mysterious man who helped me out. Thanks to him that you were saved. What a great guy. Not a huge town. None of the towns are huge, but, you know. I hear that the Tree of Mana is very beautiful. I mean, maybe? Sure. I wouldn't know. Never been. <laughs> it's all the waterfall that leads to it, I guess, but... The waterfall... Uh, waterfalls make all of our rivers flow. The water springs from the root of the Tree of Mana. Mana is supporting our nature. Well, isn't that nice? Sibba's in here. Oh, good. We've been meaning to talk to him. Oh, here's the end. Dwarf Cave is to the west. Well, I don't care about that, so... Anything to buy? Pretty sure there is. <clears throat> oh, we want some keys. Um... I'm gonna buy one more thing of keys. Uh, oh, I can't carry. How much do I have? Pure, pure pillow I'm gonna get rid of. Do I need the bronze key? Can I get rid of that now? Yeah, let's get rid of that. <laughs> I might have screwed over my save, who knows. We can get rid of my bronze uh, shield. There we go. I'll get rid of some candy, too. I don't need the candies. Oh, the crystal's 500 gold. What does it do? I gotta look at that up next time, before next time. I used one. I could have sold it. Should have just kept it. Uh, yeah. One more key. Thank you. Get out of here. Is that all you got? Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Definitely want to talk to Siba before we finish this episode up. Dwarf Cave is to the west. It still is. Thanks, kid. Get him away. Get him away, kid. Ah, there we go. There's an uh, armor shop, a weapon shop there. Siba is a sage. He used to be a great warrior. Must be an old guy now, I guess. Retired from his adventuring life. Hello! Alright, and here we have the iron... What are we What are we missing? I have the iron... I'm just looking at my notes right quick. The iron armor! Awesome. This one. More than enough money for it, too, which is great. Equip that. Yes, a nice iron outfit. Look at that. Let's get rid of our bronze armor. Bronze armor. All right, let's continue on. And up here to, I guess, Wendell Castle. I guess. Ooh, that looks cool. Look at that. Very nice. Very cool place. Very posh. Hello, Sibba. Oh, he's cool. He is like a sage from Final Fantasy III. He's got the, the cool headpiece. I am Sibba. Bogard told me about you. Oh, yes. It sure is the symbol of mana. Step forward. You'll see what you must see. What? <laughs> All right. What shall, see, what shall she see? I wonder. Oh, explosions. We're all dead. Oh, what's good music? Ooh, a pretty lady. Kate, my dear. Mom! Mom? That lady, she's the one who encouraged us. I must tell you now, Kate. You and I are the members of the Mana family. We are the seeds of the Mana tree. We must guard it. Vandal abused the power of Mana a long time ago. So I seal the waterfalls with that pendant, so that nobody can come close to the mana tree. But again, Glaive is trying to use it for evil. Guard the mana tree with the Gemma Knights. Well, damn. Mother's figure disappeared. Mom. Ooh, careful there. Glaive is attacking us! Oh, thank goodness for that mysterious man. I wish we had a name for him. <laughs> what? I'll take you to a safe place. Thank you. Off they go. Good, sh keep her safe. We'll take care of things. Where did he take her? I'll check. <laughs> Quite the, uh, oh, geez, dead, dead guy. He, he attacked me from behind. Who did? Random evil people? The Dark Lord? Julius, maybe? Oh, geez, there's rabbits. Oh, no. What'll we do? There we go. Leave the town and Kate. The mysterious man is. 
It was Julius this whole time, which I actually think is a pretty good twist if you didn't- Like, that's- Wow, okay. Julius? Why? You helped me once before. I was not sure if she was the right girl, or not until I saw what happened inside there. I was waiting for this chance to get her. And now, Glaives have her in our hands. That's writing. That's real good writing. Kate! Oh, 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 I exploded. Ow! You have no chance against me, my dear. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Kate. Aw. Well, I failed my mission. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Kate, where is she? Julius took her to the west in his airship. You didn't get to see it, because, you know, it's a Game Boy game. You don't get to see the airship. I'm going. Then take this with you. I got the magic book of heal. I learned heal. Basically, it's a pure, uh, pure potion, but in magic form, so. This magic will help you recover. Thanks. And that is all for today, guys. We got Kate back, only to have her stolen away. And at least we got some magic and whatnot. But next episode, we will continue our trek to the west and see if we can find Kate again. I'm Phil the Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.